As a flashback of Power's life before the Public Safety Bureau plays, we see how she spent her days consuming animal after animal, with Mioe being her only companion. When the Bat Devil captured Mioe, that was the first time Power truly realized how much she'd come to care for the cat and why she loved blood so much. Back in the present she awakens, to Denji lifting her up, having dug her out of the guts of the now dead Bat Devil. Since he's delivered on his end of the deal they previously made, Power informs him that he's earned the right to fondle her oranges. God help me, this is the craziest protagonist I've ever seen. Back on track, Denji celebrates the reward he's earned. Another devil appears and shoots his arm off. This new devil, with the appearance of a tentacle-bearing leech, reveals herself to be the partner of the Bat Devil, stating that while she's ready to spare Denji's life as she finds him cute, Power and Mioe will die. Unwilling to accept this, Denji pulls on his cord, trying to release his chainsaws, but it doesn't work. All that pops out is a mini chainsaw from his forehead because he lost too much blood against the bat. Despite his lack of any real weapon, Denji uses his superhuman agility and strength to dodge most of the leech's attacks. Have it your way. Ciao! <laughs> dancing around them with a strange grace, empowering himself through the attacks that he does end up taking, despite doing a lot of damage to the devil with perseverance alone, at one point even using the bat's spilled intestines to trip her up. If you beat me in a dream battle, then you can do whatever the hell you want! <laughs> <laughs> Eventually Denji's body gives out, and he finds himself piercing its stung. Moments away from being eaten, Aki appears and summons the fox demon, decapitating the leech and saving Denji. <sighs> Later, Denji wakes up in a hospital bed, with Aki watching over him and beginning to grill him about how he and Power actually ended up in such a situation. Despite her betrayal, Denji protects Power and refuses to get her in trouble. Aki accepts this under the condition that Denji listens to him from now on and leaves to get his report to Makima over at the bureau. The next morning, as Aki goes through his usual morning routine at his apartment, preparing a cup of coffee and heading out to the balcony, Denji wakes up as well retrieving every jam available from the fridge to have some breakfast. The two seem to have adapted to being roommates quite well. After finishing his chores, Aki is preparing for lunch when Power arrives at the apartment and blows the doorknob off almost instantly to get in, declaring that she will be bunking with them from now on, with the fiend being even more filthy and uncooperative than Denji was. The two men find themselves on the same page for once, constantly having to berate Power for her actions. From flinging around food, she doesn't like to flush the toilet and refusing to take a bath, despite stinking. They'll be at their wit's end before long. However, to Denji, it all seems to have been totally worth it. When Power enters the bathroom, he's cleaning, and she takes a seat on the toilet. She informs him that he may now have three squeezes of her boobs that he earned. Oh boy. Episode 5. 
Denji is overjoyed at finally being able to touch some boobs. As he goes forth for his first of three squeezes, he finds the power, uses pads to make herself look bigger than she is, but goes on with his remaining squeezes anyway. As she leaves, though, he comes to a disturbing realization. It didn't even feel that good. Practically in shock ever since the situation in the bathroom, Denji has had a distant look in his eyes and a vacant expression throughout his daily duties. Over at the bureau, where Makima is teaching him how to get his paperwork done, she notices this and asks him what's wrong. When Denji explains the situation and his frustration at the thought that pursuing something will always make him happier than actually achieving it, Makima does something he never would have expected, taking his hand in hers, biting his finger, and having him grab her boob. She simultaneously makes a request and makes promises to him as she explains the origin of the gun devil and how sought after he is by devil hunters. She asked him to dedicate himself to finding and defeating this devil, vowing that as long as he fulfilled this task, she would grant him any wish he has. You'll already know Denji. The second he hears this, he's already made it his new life goal, deciding that he'll absolutely be the one to kill gun devil no matter what. After a short flashback that shows us a scene from Oki's past while Makima explains the need to collect pieces of Gun Devil to find him, we shift to a hotel parking lot where Oki's Devil Hunter division has arrived, seeking a devil with a bullet piece within it. Himeno the senior member, Koban, Arai, Aki, Denji, and Power. The six members discuss a reward for getting the kill on this devil when Himeno offers up a kiss for the winner, with Arai horrified by her being so callous and Denji rushing in with his motivation renewed. Himeno and Aki follow behind while discussing the new recruit's chances of survival. As they venture further into the hotel on the 8th floor, they are met with a severed head with two feet attached to it that rushes towards them, terrifying Koban, who has absolutely zero courage or confidence. Himeno quickly freezing the devil using her contracted devil ghost, Himeno allows power to get the kill with a blood knife. With the hunters heading further up to find the other devil that must be there since this one didn't have a gun devil piece, something very frightening comes to pass, which none of them can make any sense of. They are stuck in some sort of loop, which lands them right back on the 8th floor. No matter where they go upstairs or downstairs everything leads back right to the 8th floor hallway, episode 6. When the group sees that no matter which way they go on the stairs, they just end up right back on the 8th floor hallway they left. They begin looking for a way to escape, or at the very least help them understand just what the hell is going on. Aki enters one of the rooms and goes through its window, when he sees an identical room on the other side, only to exit the hall once again from the room opposite the one he entered. Denji shows up and makes the same discovery. The hunters all regroup in one of the hotel rooms and go over everything they know about the situation. Again, realizing they are in some sort of loop caused by whatever devil they are here to hunt. While Arai is hopeful that when the bureau realizes they've been gone too long, they'll send another devil hunter. Himeno point out that they better hope those hunters don't fall into the same trap that they have. All the while, Koban is having a complete and utter nervous breakdown, exposing the fact that her parents only see her as a source of money to send her brother to university and crying her heart out at the idea that she's going to end up dying right here. But Power just finds the faces she's making absolutely hilarious and can't control her laughter. Aki, meanwhile, has realized something that makes their situation seem even more hopeless. All the clocks on this floor have been frozen at the same time for quite a while now. They are trapped not just on this floor but in time as well. With this latest revelation, they can rule out any chance of other hunters being sent for them either, which means they will either find a way out on their own, or they actually die here, like Coben's afraid of. Denji the carefree idiot just takes this news as an excuse to sleep as much as he wants in one of the beds since it won't matter anyway with time frozen. Later, Himeno wakes up Denji and explains what everyone else is up to, telling him they have to keep watch over Arai and Koban, who have closed themselves in a room. Drowning in their despair, Aki walks into the room the three are keeping watch over the others by, telling them that the devil they encountered before is still alive somehow, and it's getting bigger and bigger. When they hear the crash of a door being ripped off its hinges, the four hunters rush into the hall, only to see the devil now taking up the whole width of the hallway and growing further with time. While the hunters stand and watch in disgust, the devil with several faces begins making demands in a heavily distorted voice, stating that it will make a contract with them to release everyone under the condition that they let it eat Denji. Surprisingly, Koban is the one who comes out of a room upon hearing this and rushes forward wielding a knife in an attempt to kill Denji and accept the devil's contract, quickly being neutralized by Aki, who kicks her knife away and Himeno elbows her gut, dropping her to the floor. 
Koben lies defeated while everyone else tries their own methods of homing the devil. Oki's summoning fails since they are in a different dimension than normal, but Himeno's ghost is easily able to pop some of the devil's heads. Unfortunately, all this does is make the creature grow even further. The hunters then argue over whether they should just accept the contract or not, with Aki being firmly on Denji's side while Power and Arai are in favor of handing him over. As more time passes, Koben grows more and more out of her mind, losing herself in fear and despair, providing the devil with even more power and causing it to grow at a ridiculous speed through the hallway, forcing everyone to flee onto a ledge that appears to be the elevator shaft. While both Arai and Koben struggle with their fear, they come together and attempt to take Denji's life when Aki jumps in to protect him, taking a knife right into the side of his body. Seeing no other way to save Aki, Denji decides that if for no other reason than to settle this debt to Aki, he'll offer himself up to the devil on his own, allowing them to escape and save Aki. With his decision made, Denji leaps into the elevator shaft, pulling on his cord as he descends into the devil's mouth. The end for now. Take you out, 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 take you out